I'm here today to talk about people. Uh, my name is Lucas Janssen. I'm one of the two founders and the CEO at Seed. And uh, when considering to implement a new technology, it's very important to also think about the people. Uh, this is a fundamental part when implementing new technologies. So this is also something that we consider uh, as a company supplying new technologies and where we really want to help our customers to understand what kind of steps they, they, they need to take or, or should take. And even with our large format 3D printing solutions, where we really focus on automation, it's still people that are a very important element. And with a new technology, sometimes new skills are needed. So that's something that I want to tell you a little bit more about, what types of skills and what types of profiles uh, fit to these, uh, to these skills. We can uh, make a division in several roles that are needed for this technology. And on one hand, you need designers, which are capable of making designs that are very well fitted with this technology. Um, on the other hand, you also need programmers or slicers, people that are uh, skilled working with a computer and can translate that design into a G code, which is essentially is a code that the 3D printer will follow. And you will need an operator, which are people that uh, use machines on a daily basis, that are very hands-on and effective with, uh, with using machines and, and can also maintain and tend uh, to these machines. We've seen some examples where a company would find one person who can actually do all of these three roles, uh, but there are, there are also examples of where companies implement this in their uh, production line uh, where they already have these roles internally for because they may have a machine pool that they already have operators tending to other machines or that they already have a design department that is very strong at designing for manufacturing methods. So that does vary a lot uh, depending on the company itself. Um, but what we tend to see for these profiles is that also the, the people just graduating coming out of uh, school, uh, practical schools, uh, up to uh, applied science universities are very well equipped of working with, with this technology, specifically because they really learn how to use these digital skills and to um, uh, really work with designing for manufacturing methods. And also uh, that people tend to, to really enjoy working with this technology. It's still a technology that's very hands-on and what you create on, uh, on CAD, what you create on the computer, you can actually bring that to life the next day. And that's something that draws in a lot of new talent is what we, what we find. And we as Seed also really want to help in selecting the right, the right choices uh, for you. Um, and another thing that we can do to, to make this, this more attainable, to set this up, is the way how we set up our training programs. Because in these training programs, we make the same subdivision uh, for the different elements of the training program, which it essentially means that you can have other people from your company attending different elements of the training, or of course, uh, certain people also um, yeah, seeing all of the elements of the, the training uh, in, uh, in, in one row. Our machines are hybrid machines, so they do 3D printing and CNC machining. And luckily, uh, these skills have quite a big overlap. So we tend to see that the same people can actually do both the programming for the 3D printing as well as for the CNC machining. But at Seed we also really want to go further than just the training because it's, it's a learning process together. So we really want to emphasize our long-term partnership together and uh, make it possible to give more training sessions to new operators that may join the company or to even invite designers and engineers to come over to Delft to learn about the technology and to learn how to how to design and and uh, and work with it and feel and touch materials for example the other founder of the company Marta, did a very nice video on the six things to consider when uh, starting up with this technology um, it's also online on youtube and on our website so uh, it's a good video to check out uh, next to this video